the six officers involved in the January abuse case of two black men in Rankin County appeared in court today for to face state charges. 12 News Tia McKenzie, she is live from the Rankin County Court with more on today's hearing. Tia. Tal, the courtroom was packed to maximum capacity as those six officers pleaded guilty once again, this time to state charges. Brett McAlpin, Jeffrey Middleton, Christian Deadman, Hunter Elward, Daniel Opdyke, and Joshua Hartfield each entered the Rankin County Courthouse, wrists shackled to their waist in jail suits. Prosecutors today described the heinous acts that occurred during the raid on a Braxton home. The officers received word that, a, that black men were staying with a white woman there. The officers spoke with each other in code phrases such as work easy and no bag mug shots before raiding the home, beating and torturing Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker. Jenkins was shot in the mouth during the encounter. The six officers pleaded guilty to several federal charges earlier this month. We came back inside, we observed MJ and EP covered in chocolate syrup and other liquids. Shortly after, MJ and EP were ordered to strip naked and shower off. Their handcuffs were removed. After MJ and EP showered off and changed into clean underwear and sweats, they were handcuffed again and brought to the side bedroom adjacent to the carport. The officers began discussing the comparative strength of their respective tasers, and they decided to test their tasers on MJ and EP to see which one was the most powerful. Do you have to disagree with this actual basis, Mr. Bill? Do you have to disagree with what she said? They the rest of make inches, they use of force and intimidation, they cause you to change your plea from night to night. Promises are hope reward to make you a new change of plea from night to night. After speaking to your attorney, you want to decide to plead guilty. Tell the court you're free and voluntarily to your guilty crime you plead guilty to. You plead guilty to the court. You understand the court's not bound by any plea bargain agreement to impose the maximum sentence here. You also understand that I accept your plea, you have no right to appeal. Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey released a statement in, in part. I believe today's guilty pleas show the community that our system of checks and balances is effective. As for those six officers, they are expected to be sentenced in mid-November. Live in Rankin County, Tia McKenzie, 12 News. Thank you so much, Tia. Well, Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey also included in his statement on today's court proceedings that, quote, the Rankin County Sheriff's Office continues to evaluate and modify its policies, procedures, and training for all Sheriff's Office employees. We have asked for assistance from outside agencies and contracted with outside firms to evaluate us, make recommendations, and conduct training. He adds there these actions are taken to prevent anything like January's tragedy from ever happening again, end quote. And one of the people attending today's hearing was one of the abuse victims himself. Eddie Parker is one of the plaintiffs in a $400 million civil suit filed against the officers. Parker and attorney Trent Walker spoke with 12 News this morning. He offered his reactions to watching the six accused officers appear in court. The view of seeing uh, the same, the walk of shame, the, uh, the head down, the disgust that uh, everybody that felt you know, for them and uh, that they feel for themselves. I hope um, this is a lesson to uh, everybody out there. Justice will be served. That's right. Thank you. And stay with 12 News as we'll have much more from today's court action and public sentiment about the case in our afternoon and evening newscasts.